Hi everyone, this is Gaetan from the Marketplace support team at Nito. What I would like to do today is show you how you can easily create a custom product field in Nito and map it to your listings on the marketplaces such as Catch or Amazon. There are a number of reasons why you would want to do that. Uh, the most common reason would be that a field exists on the marketplace but does not have an equivalent in Nito. A good example of that would be the logistic class field in Catch. You also have the shipping template or the variation themes fields in um, Amazon. In this video, the example I'm going to use is the Catch logistic class field. Here's a product I already have in Nito and it's already listed on Catch. And here is my Catch listing. Now, if I scroll down this page and the settings here, you'll find a, a field called logistic class that's used to control the shipping cost for this listing, right? Um, it comes with a set of existing values that are available. The problem is I don't really have an equivalent field in Nito. So if I go to my product field mapping page in Nito, which I have open here, under core, I do have an option here to map this logistic class field. Now the problem is I don't have a field here, a Nito field that corresponds to this field with the same options. What I can do, if I click on the a uh, little eye icon here, I can see the set of available values for this field. And I could click on type in a value here and send the same logistic class value for every product. But what I would like to do is being able to set this at the product level because I do not want to send the same logistic class to every product. So what I will have to do is create a custom product field. What I'm going to do is on the left-hand side menu, click on settings and tools and all settings and tools. In the search bar, I'm going to search for custom product field and find custom product fields. What I want to do here is add a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add new. Right, so I can um, use any of the available fields here. I'm just going to go with uh, Miss Fool. Better to choose one that doesn't have any um, restrictions. So Miss Fool will do. Field name, go with something uh, self-explanatory such as catch logistic class. Field type, uh, the field type will depend on, I guess, uh, the type of fields in the marketplace. In this instance, I want to drop down menu with a set of available values. So I'm going to go with selection box. Single selection will be just fine. I only want to select one. Now I'm going to quickly go back to my um, product field mapping page. And what I'll do just to be a bit faster is select the list of available values. And I'm going to copy this list and paste it on Excel, just because I only want to select one of the columns. I'm going to go with uh, the names. I can go either with the codes or the names, but I think the names is a bit easier. So let's go with the names back to my page to create a custom product field and I'm just going to paste this here, right? One row per option. The section here refers to what section of the product edit page in Nito you want um, to put this field in. So, so section would be shipping. That field does not need to be visible on the uh, product display page on the web store. So I will do hidden, hidden for the thumbnail and that field description field um, is not required, so I will just keep it, save and close. Now, if I go back to my product page in Nito, I need to refresh the page. And if I scroll down, I can now see that catch logistic class field. So let's go ahead and select a um, small light way for this item. Save. No, that is not going to do much because I haven't actually mapped that field to the catch marketplace. So let me go back to my product field mapping page. I'm just going to give it a refresh. And here on the core, logistic class, I should not be able to find my catch logistic class field. Here it is. So let's map that, save. And you're done. So let's wait a, a few minutes and check back on the listing on catch and see if it has updated accordingly.
Okay, I'm back in catch now. Let's uh, refresh the page and check that the logistic class feed has not updated to the small lightweight. And here we are. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful.